it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another meal prep video. It's been a minute since I've done a meal prep video. I used to do so many of these and I slowed down just a little bit, but I thought it would be a great time to bring some of these back, especially since it is the new year. New year, new me, new you. Yeah, it's not good. So this video, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple rice bowl. I would call this like a Buddha bowl, although I'm not sure why I wanna call it a Buddha bowl. And I don't know what entails a Buddha bowl. I feel like it's not even a Buddha bowl because I don't think Buddhists eat like garlic or onion, but I'm gonna call it a Buddha bowl, okay. I don't know what entails a Buddha bowl. What is considered to be a scientifically accurate Buddha bowl? Anyways, I'm gonna call this a Buddha bowl even though I don't think it's actually correct. Uh, but it is seriously one of my favorite things to eat because it's so delicious and it's super, super healthy. So it's basically like a rice bowl with a sort of protein and then we have veggies and I usually like to top it with a delicious tahini sauce which is oh, so good. I'm telling you guys right now that this is going to be such a delicious meal that you won't even realize how healthy it is. And another option for you, if you don't just wanna do a tahini dressing, I would recommend actually making another dressing and just switching up the dressings every day so that you have a little bit more variety in your food. So you can have tahini dressing one day and then maybe like a spicy teriyaki the next day or something like that. So basically just keep the dressings on the side and then you can just um, pour whatever dressing you feel like having that day. So that's an option for you guys. But yeah, it's super simple and I really hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, first thing you are going to need is some sort of grain and I am cooking up some short grain brown rice and I'm just going to add it into my rice cooker. I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm going to cook it up in the rice cooker. All right, while the rice is cooking, we're going to cook up some baby bok choy and also some other type of bok choy, which I think is just slightly larger than baby bok choy. Anyways, I'm just slicing it in half so that I can cook it up easily. You can obviously use whatever vegetable of your choice. I love bok choy or baby bok choy in my Buddha bowls, but uh, you can use like broccoli or whatever other vegetable you want. Just make sure you rinse it out thoroughly and now I am just chopping some mushrooms. I'm using white mushrooms as well as king oyster mushrooms because I just had both on hand. Let's head over to the stove. I'm just spraying on some olive oil onto a frying pan and I'm just going to add some king oyster mushrooms. So we're going to start with that and on another frying pan at the same time, I'm just going to cook up the bok choy. As you can see, there's quite a bit, but it does shrink a bit when you cook it. And I like to cook my mushrooms for a couple minutes until they're nicely browned on each side. So I'm just flipping them over and oh my gosh, guys, I just love king oyster mushrooms. Have you ever tried these? Because they're so good. All right, let's just set that aside and then on the same pan, we're just going to cook up the white mushrooms. I'm also going to roast some pumpkin seeds by throwing them into the frying pan just for a few minutes on medium high heat until they're kind of slightly browned. And I love doing this and topping my Buddha bowls with pumpkin seeds because they are so delicious and it adds that element of crunch and also that element of health and nutrition. And for my protein, I'm actually using tempeh. This is just store-bought marinated tempeh. I think the flavor was maple bacon, which was really, really good. You can, of course, use tofu. Just pan fry your tofu for a couple minutes on each side. I'm just doing that same thing with tempeh. Another great protein source would be beans or lentils, so those could be really great as well. And now for the star of the show, this is my favorite tahini dressing. This is the perfect Buddha bowl dressing. It just tastes so good. So into a bowl, I'm adding some tahini, soy sauce, maple syrup, and now I'm adding some nutritional yeast, and we're also gonna add some garlic powder. I do like to thin it out with at least one or two tablespoons of water. I would start with one and see how you like the consistency. I use two, but it's totally up to you. You can of course add more as you go. So maybe start with one tablespoon and see how you feel. 
And at this point, your rice should be finished. And honestly, guys, if you make rice often, I would highly suggest investing in a rice cooker. There are some cheaper ones and a little bit more expensive ones, but honestly, they are such a great investment. You will use a rice cooker for years and I just love it. So highly, highly recommend. So now I am just portioning out the rice. I'm just using one cup of cooked brown rice into each portion and then just portioning out everything else. I pour the sauce onto two of the bowls and left two of them without sauce and I would probably suggest just keeping the sauce on the side for yourself so your food doesn't get soggy and in case you might want to switch to a different sauce on some of the days. And this part is optional but as always I'm just topping each bowl with some toasted sesame seeds. And I'm also topping the two bowls with the sauce on them with some fresh chopped green onions. And there you have it guys, those are some delicious meal prepped Buddha bowls or rice bowls, whatever you want to call them. They are seriously so good, you would be surprised at how yummy the dressing is and how everything just comes together so well. I love the different textures, the different flavors, and I just think it's so delicious, so I highly recommend trying this out. it for my buddha bowl meal prep video i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful i really do hope you guys try it out it's healthy it's delicious and it's just the perfect thing to eat for lunch it's super packed with nutrients and oh so good like i said if you want to switch up the dressings once in a while that's something that you could totally do and that's something i would totally recommend and um, i think i'm gonna do more of these types of bowls for future meal preps so let me know if you did enjoy it if you want to see more variations if you enjoyed this video of course don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you enjoy meal prep videos i'll leave a link to a meal prep playlist in the description box down below that are full of vegan meal prep videos and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye!